Hello SPF family, it's windy here. I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you my working cart. Maybe to give you some ideas if you're tight in space or just to share and where I make the things I make. Um, first, let me start off by saying, why am I always in pajamas? Well, it's my favorite smock. I love being in my pajamas. I love them that are cotton and I love that I can take them off and put them on real easy. Nothing's tight around me so that I can work and up and down and do everything I need to do to do the projects that I like to do. And for those ladies who know, it's also the change. So cotton and loose fitting, A1. So first off in my little spot is right on the couch with my family. We do have a um, extra room, which is the craft room. The craft room is right here. Let's go inside. No, I'm just kidding. That room is a mess. When this house was done, we have a kitchen and this used to be the dining room and they closed it all in. So that is just a bonus room, which is the craft room. But we do not have a garage or no, we have a garage. We do not, our garage is very tight. We don't have a um, storage room. We don't have a coat closet. We don't have a basement because Arizona doesn't dig into the ground that deep. And anyway, so the storage in here is very poor. So that room unfortunately becomes the, how do you like my broom? I do everything colorful. Don't you like my broom? Um, that room has coats in it. It has crafting supplies. It has a sewing machine. It has paint because we can't leave it house paint in the garage because it's too hot. It has genealogy. It has so much in it. So it's a, we call it the organized chaos because it is exactly chaos, but it's the catch all room. And otherwise, I don't want to be by my family or away from my family. So I sit right with my family here on the couch. Of course, my space, my working space, always has this darling who you hear snoring all the time. I cover it with a towel. I keep a towel for my lap when I'm painting. My side table is just a variation of all different kinds of things. We have the dog cage there right now, but usually that's just a little side table, but we had to switch that for the Christmas tree. So that stuff all kind of hang, hangs out there. Thank my husband for just being so understanding and not minding my mess. Before I used to use the coffee table and this was my newest idea I've just had over the past few months and I love it. It is one of those carts. It is a TV cart. You know those kinds like this? I got it from Walmart for like 19 bucks and it rolls. Now the front wheels only go back and forth so the TV it'll roll into it and it goes flying. But it kind of works out although it's hard to go in circles a little bit it keeps it in place if you lean into it so it doesn't go flying away from you really fast but it does twist and turn so that's kind of handy to make it you know if you're working on like the cottage what is amazing with this on top of it compared to the coffee table I don't know how I would have done it so it was just a black cart put together it took about 15 minutes and then I had this um, um, what's that called shelf liner that I had from my leftover from my um, drawers. I can't talk today. And I just put that on there and that's nice because it's kind of like stainless steel looking, but it's plastic, but it does not stick. So when I'm painting, things don't stick to it, which kind of stinks if you're using newspaper for cover. And the roll card is nice because if we have company, I can just roll that into the catch-all room. So this is a really handy dandy thing. Now, what's in it is fun. I just have the supplies I use the most. So on my top shelf, I just found a box that fit. I taped up all the sides real good so it's nice and strong. And I put in the things I need to get handy the most and grab. Scissors, pens, pencils, my favorite tape and knife. I even got a little needle here for when I got clogged tips and have to fix them. And that is my paints. And I got this so I can reuse until I need one. And I have another box in here for organizing. And I got them separated kind of by order. Metallics over here, glitters and special things over here. As you can see, I paint all the tops. 
because you know you usually got to go like this and look at all your paints so I just put a little of my finger and wish in and that makes it easier to see your colors when I have them upside down it means I don't have a lot left so if I'm planning a project I know there's only a little and little things notes that keep me some of those upstairs up part of the kitchen down part of the kitchen of the dollhouse little notes so I remember what colors I have have my basics really close to me that I need the most my bullseye primer for everyday things these things are falling more here my blacks and whites and, oops my touch-up paint I should have just did this even with and what else do we have here we got some palettes in case we need them paper towels in case I need them so I don't have to go running if I spill something different sheen of black and white my most used nail polishes I got the clear over on my side, my silver, matte, and black. So if we take that away and look into the first shelf, more things I grab quickly. My real play things. I love these because <laughs> they don't fall over easy, which is fantastic. In here I just got tweezers of all different sizes and shapes for whatever projects I might be doing. An owl for poking, which is nice and busted up, but works. And some little detailed scissors for the way. We have glue gun sticks, nice and ready. And I just got my big paints back there, some room for those when I need to get them. I usually like to buy the black and white in large size and fill them up as needed. I tend to use those colors the most. So those are all there. There's some nice little notes. Then down on the bottom, for handy dandy, um, I've got, of course, my trusty old forever decades old glue gun, which is a mess. But I love it and know it. I keep it on a glass ashtray so it never sticks to my surface when I set it down because I don't often use this thing right here. That's in there. I got my paint brushes all here that I've been using. I keep a paper towel for dabbing, water. Um, again, that's nice so it doesn't spill over. Brushes can dry while they're here. And then I have my brush collection, which is tons of oh, my little iron. This is so awesome for quick, just throw a towel down on the kitchen counter and iron something quick if you're sewing. Um, I have everything I need in here for brushes, toothbrushes. I try to be frugal or handy dandy using things, reusing things as much as I can. So even when I break them, I keep them for stir sticks. Of course, I'm a tall one, a ruler. And then I have this separating into um, throwaway brushes, stippling brushes, good and fancy and new, best and good shape brushes. And then I never really throw out junky ones. Remember this one from the faux finish. I never throw those away because they might come in handy for something or if I gotta do some a lot of priming and I need a decent brush. And I keep those so I never throw those away. Had a lot of these for many years. Maybe I'll do a small tutorial about how to take care of your brushes. But number one is obviously keeping them sitting straight up. This was um I don't remember where I got this. I've had this forever. It was like a pen thing for your desk. And it rotates and that's super handy. I love that. Keep my brushes. Obviously, this gets dusty. Masking tape and packing tape for projects. Obviously, there's a good amount of storage in here, and I keep the things I need closest. My Verifane varnish. So I showed you in something else how I always keep those sealed so that no air gets in them and they stay for like super long time without waste. Things I may need but don't need as often. I got paint markers, my razors. Don't you love that? It matches the awesome, awesome, which of course is my little hammer with the screwdrivers all inside. Um, another razor. These are too handy. I don't know why. Probably because they don't adjust. So I've got fresh brushes, pencils, reusing a can. My favorite primer, you know that. Here's my backups. So I got some more backup paint back here. Obviously, I don't like pink. Look at that all by itself back there. Just got some glues, replaceable blades, all this handy silicone, which looks almost gone. And more glues that I invested in and really are very little purpose to me because the packaging just works the best. So those are all in there. And then. 
got different things I may need. Sanding block, an old candy dish of some sort that I use as a palette, my most used palette. Every now and then I'll soak those to get it off, but not often. Always my handy dandy parking, silicone ready for gluing, my caps for using a singular holding palette. I use those lots. I got some of these. You remember from the dollhouse, I had a stack of them. So I use these when I got a lot of paint that I need to do. Hold in my hand. Backup caulking. Artist sponge. This is a really nice, uh, I more sponges. This is a really nice water holder. When I'm, more when I'm sitting at the table, I like this one, or if I got a lot going on. Those are nice. It's got the edges in there to clean against. And that, that's pretty, that's handy, but I tend to use that more. And then another palette came in really handy for the mural behind the beach and cottage. Where's my paper plate? It's awesome because you put a plate in there. I don't know where I got that from either. I've had that forever. And you put a plate in it and then you can mix and do and hold your finger in it while you're doing something in the air. I love that, if not for novelty. And I love it for that and other reasons. So here we go, Miss OCD's trying to put it back together. So now you have seen Mama's working cart, crafting cart. Hope you like it. Hope it gave you some ideas. And this is a really, really a neat cart. If you can swing it or if it helps you, go for it. And as always, it's been a pleasure. Have a good night. See you next time. Thanks for watching.